get it right? How did you know this? I didn't know at all. I found that it actually did a lot. I hope you don't scare easily, says a university professor to his team of students as they conduct a scientific experiment on a deeply disturbed young woman. You know horrible things are going to be uncovered, but thankfully the three stars of The Quiet Ones are each possessed with a sense of humor. First of all, I am so glad to see everyone smile, smile, yeah. smile, yes. please. <laughs> I don't think anyone cracked a smile in this movie because it's not. Um, I cracked a smile movie. in the beginning. Yeah. 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 Aaron and um, and Rory, they cracked several well, smiles. When you give me I flower. Don't she wasn't smile. allowed to smile. <laughs> uh -huh. There's one smile. Yeah. A flower well, smile. Oh, there's a flower smile. Oh, that's flower right. Smile. So see, there's a there are a lot of levels to this movie, and we're talking about supernatural versus science, and it all starts with this this man right here. Right. Yes. Okay. So what is your take on the quiet? Who are you besides a chain smoker? Right. Um, uh, I play Professor Copeland, and I am out to prove the uh, the, uh, the that the supernatural doesn't exist; that it is merely a result of the human psyche. And he is using Olivia's character, Jane Harper, to uh, to prove that she's the vessel. And Sam's character is a, a film enthusiast, would you say, that he is hired to document. So really the movie's seen through his eyes and she's the focus of the film. What story are you looking for? Are you a believer? I suppose I don't know what I believe in. I hope you don't scare easily. Welcome to the experiment. What's wrong with her? She was abandoned. She remembers nothing from her past. Families would keep her for a bit, then things would happen. It's a more frightening approach to telling a story if you ask the audience to engage by using their imagination, you know? It's like, you know, a dark room um, is, is uh, when you're a kid, it's, you fill it with uh, all sorts of things, you know, from your imagination, and once you turn the light on, it dissipates. So I think it's the same thing. You ask the audience to, to fill it. Don't look into her eyes. Don't say anything to her. She's very dangerous. <laughs> what if she's just a vessel? You're not alone, are you? There's something there with you, isn't there? What is it? There's something bad inside of me. Why do we like to be unsettled, though? I don't know. It's one of those things that, uh, you know, I don't know whether to take it as a compliment or feel the need to apologize when someone comes up to me and says, I didn't sleep last night. And <laughs> I'm like, mm. thank you, or sorry. I don't, you know, um, it's one of those. Great feelings, actually. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's true. I, I love to be scared. I love to feel like, I, I don't know, uneasy. I, there's something about feeling uneasy and you feel the adrenaline, you know, you feel alive, you know what I mean? It's I a think shared it's... experience with your friends when you go to the cinema and you watch it with all your friends, like a bonding experience. You said it's a really good date movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right, because you're going to jump yeah. on your date, right? <laughs> exactly. If you haven't figured out how to make the move yet, the movie will do it for you. scared because you can't explain what you've seen. You will need your strength for what lies ahead. Don't see this one alone, so grab a friend or several and check out The Quiet Ones in your real-time theater. <laughs>